This is Feed Your Mind, and in today's video, we're going to discuss secrets behind the movie Leave the World Behind. It's a new movie on Netflix. Allegedly, Obama was somehow involved in the production of this movie. The movie stars Julia Roberts and Ethan Hawke, and it's pretty interesting with the timing of this movie because I just released a video. I believe it was my last video on a similar topic that this movie deals with, with a potential shutdown of the power grid with the internet and everything going down and so I was getting reports for a while now about a potential shutdown of the power grid and I heard they're gonna blame it on a solar flare or some type of EMP and some people are saying it's just gonna be like three days of darkness but I've been hearing reports that this could be potentially up to three months to a year so this sounds like a complete shutdown like a great reset type of scenario or there could be other causes behind that as well that we're going to get into in this video so look with this leave the world behind movie i mean first of all i didn't really enjoy it that much i mean the previews looked much better than the actual film itself the film itself i will probably have to give like a c minus maybe a d plus but i think i'll probably go with a c minus i thought it underperformed as far as entertainment value but there was some notable moments in there that's why i'm making this video because i still was able to pick up some stuff out of this film like i said with the power outage and the internet shut down and some more things were happening in that movie like the animals were acting strange so there was deers that was just walking up to people and they would come in herds, so it'd be a whole bunch of them. It almost, to me, looked like the deers might have been possessed or something. Maybe that's the message. I mean, they didn't really explain what was going on with those animals, but for some reason, they weren't afraid of humans anymore. They were just walking right up to them and pretty much intimidating them. The buck deers had them horns coming out of their heads, so it was pretty eerie. So I'm not exactly sure what message they were trying to convey, but yeah, the animals were acting real strange. And I believe that's kind of biblical with animals acting strange and stuff and taking over the city centers. So in this movie, the family went on vacation out of the city. They rented a mansion and someone comes to the door talking about this is his home. And he's trying to tell the occupants that he needs to come back to his house because the cities are going insane. They didn't know if they believed him or not. And if these people were up to something or if something really was going on in the city well the power went out the internet went out and there was no real information about what was going on until finally it was clear that yes yeah, something definitely was going on and they started like trying to figure out what was happening so there's a lot of confusion because with the internet being down no one really had any information so that's how they really can pull this off. Now we're seeing kind of like some clues where, yeah, when the internet's down, no one really knows what's going on. You're left to the news and the news wasn't even on because it wasn't reporting on anything. The news was just saying it's in an emergency to seek shelter and stuff like that. So there's spoilers. I'm going to be spoiling this movie if you haven't seen it. So I'm just giving you a heads up. But basically, yeah, towards the end of the movie, it's like the one of the main characters was talking about he kind of heard something about this was going to happen and he was talking about how you know he knew people that were involved with secret groups and that they kind of had a heads up that this type of stuff was going to happen and he said a lot of the rich people out there were building bunkers so these mansions they said weren't just mansions they actually a lot of these mansions i guess were prepared for this because they were associating with people that were in the know so it's suggesting that the secret group had a heads up that something like this might happen and they had prepared bunkers and i wonder if there's something to that you know maybe some truth to that because yeah they would be the ones with the money to even do that to have bunkers and stuff like that so my take on that is it's either the secret groups behind what was going on you know maybe to bring in their great reset and to bring in their world order so they could um take control of the entire world through authority instead of being divided into different countries and stuff or it could be 
like maybe an Armageddon scenario. Maybe it's like a day of judgment on the nations of this earth. So it's not really clear what was going on. And if something like that did happen, could it be as simple as a war starting? Because that's kind of what they're implying because there was this plane that was dumping flyers. At first, you didn't really know what was dumping, but because it was a bunch of red stuff coming out of the plane that looked like a cloud of smoke or something, but it turned out it was just flyers. But on the flyers, it was saying like, yeah, the nations are done. And it was in a different language. So it was confusion and Someone said there was other flyers being dropped in other locations and pretty much saying the same thing, but in a different language. So it looked like they were definitely behind it as far as, you know, the secret groups or it could have been like a World War Three type thing. But there's potential for there to be a biblical aspect to everything as well with possibly judgment coming upon the earth. And even with the World War Three scenario, that would fall in line as well, because the Bible does say nation will rise against nation. And I believe the Bible also talks about the cities not being safe, because in the end of the movie, they're able to look across the lake from the area where the suburbs were with all the mansions. And as they looked across the lake, they could see the city skyline and the cities were being destroyed, completely toppled over. The cities were not safe. It was much different in the cities than it was across the lakes where the mansions were. So, you know, they escaped to a more secluded area. And that's where it looks like they were able to escape a lot of the destruction that was going on. Because if they were still in the cities, it looks like that was not the place to be. And the cities were going crazy. It was definitely not habitable to be in the cities at that time. Anyone would have to flee the cities. And, you know, there was another moment in the movie with the Tesla cars all smashing into each other. Someone had hacked. They, that's what, that's kind of what the theme was going on with the movie. They were saying there was a hack. Somebody was hacking into the system of the governments and basically were able to hack into Tesla and the cars were just smashing into each other with the remote control. So, yeah, I mean, I guess that's interesting because they are pushing for everyone to buy an electric vehicle. I'm hearing like they're trying to say with the, you know, with the weather, you know, I, I can't really say the certain words. There's certain keywords you can't really speak of too freely anymore, but you know, with the weather, they're concerned about the weather. So basically they're trying to get people to buy electric vehicles instead of combustion engines, you know, like we're used to having cars that can start up just by throwing gas in there. But now with the electric vehicles, if the power grid goes down, well, the one thing Elon did respond to this part of the movie and he said, well, his cars could be charged up using solar. So he's saying like the solar stations can charge up an electric vehicle but as far as the hacker part where someone was able to get control of self-driving capabilities that part was interesting where the cars were being taken control of and the hackers were using the cars to jam up traffic so that there's no way anyone could really hit the highways because there would be a big pile up so the roads were being taken over it'd be harder to escape at that point and you would be left with being on foot, I guess, at that point, or have some type of off-road vehicle, maybe like a four-wheeler or something, possibly would be your, maybe one of your better options, some type of off-road vehicle, um, because at that point, the roads would be pretty useless. It sounds like there would be no real escape. So as far as preparation for something like that, I mean, you definitely would probably have to collect some type of camping gear in the movie the daughter ended up in a home you know she she just went inside a home and, and helped herself into the home and found a bunker actually in the home because it was a mansion they're in a mansion area so it's pretty much looking like in those days you'd be pretty much on your own to survive and people were real skeptical of one another you know, neighbors were turning against neighbors. 
They went to one of the neighbors for help, and the neighbor was pretty much saying, get off my property or else. By force, he was willing to get them to leave. If, if they didn't leave voluntarily, you know, it was going to be something. So, and then it got to the point where they had to barter and trade. Uh, cash was important at that time because, well, it wasn't important, but it was useful because a lot of people's money would be in banks. So there wouldn't be a lot of that going on. So it looks like they're saying that cash would still be a form of acceptable payment to trade for goods. Also, you would um, be able to trade goods or your skill sets. If you had some type of skill sets, I guess that would be valuable as well. There was also a pretty interesting part where this strange signal occurred and everyone had to cover their ears. After the signal, it looked like that was affecting a couple of the members. Well, actually just one of the members, he started having symptoms. So with that signal scene, we could take that a whole bunch of different ways with these towers that they put up. and. You know, they had a signal not too long ago that everyone was kind of concerned about this emergency signal. So that was a pretty interesting moment in the movie. But yeah, I mean, the last days, huh? I mean, what do you guys think about that? I mean, it looks like this movie was all about the last days and a destabilization of the cities and society as a whole. So yeah, just be prepared and be aware of what's going on and it's possible that one day something like this could actually happen in real life there's been a lot of strange movies like this coming out and strange reports in the real world like i said i just made a video on a similar topic based on real life information so let me know your thoughts if you saw the movie and what you took from it and that's about it for today i'm gonna leave a link in the comment section if you want to do more research with me. I'm also going to leave links to my other channels, my social media, my Feed Your Mind store, my free email newsletters, and much more. If you would like to support this channel, please donate as little as a dollar to help keep this channel online. This has been Feed Your Mind. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Signing off.